Have you ever wondered how you tag a character or what the benefits can be? Or perhaps you don't know what the tag system is and you're just trying to figure it out. Well, here we are going to describe what exactly the purpose of a tagged character is, how it can help you, and how to get started. Now, something I have noticed is 98.3% of you are not subscribed versus the 1.7% that are. So if you want to see more content like this in the future, it would help to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do anything you're going to do, check out the Twitch, check out the Discord, anything. So, let's go on into it. Tagging a character is a very simplistic process. First, you will see a little icon here. It's called Tag Characters, and it just looks like two people hanging out. You're going to click that, and it will show you this UI right here. It shows you a list of all the characters you have, and to tag a character, you must be in the same town as them. And finally, it also cannot be a seasonal character, both the one you're tagging and the one you are on currently. The tag system is quite useful because it allows you to copy your gear over to another character, and one of the recent changes they added is when you tag a character, any EXP you get on one character shares over to the other character without any EXP loss. An example of this would be when I had my lawn sitting right here tagged, I was able to level them to 63 without using them for more than an hour inside of PvE, entirely because of the actions that I had taken with my main character Shy right here. This also simplifies the power leveling aspect of this game. Oftentimes, as we probably know, many people will find a party so that they can level up their characters in a much more efficient and timely way, and also a much easier way. Now with the EXP share items in this game, you can tag a character that is, let's say, level 40, level them up beyond their level that you had previously, in which case, for me, it was the Mega right here that I had tagged and leveled up to 61 through this method, and you can get them to a reasonable level through this, well, reasonable method. Now, tagging characters is simple. As you know, you go to the UI, you have to be in the same town as the other character you're trying to tag, they cannot be a seasonal character, and you just select them and press tag. Once you tag them, they will not have the same items until you use the item copy function. To use the item copy function, it has to be full durability, every single item, including the Vel's Heart if you're trying to tag that, or anything else. If you're playing Shy, you're going to be sad, but you cannot tag a soul, whether it be a Black Zer soul or a normal soul, you just cannot tag it. You also cannot tag another character's awakening weapon to Shy. You have to make a Shy Awakening weapon entirely individually. First off, let's repair the gear and show you how this tagging of items works. To tag the set equipment, you're going to need Marnie's Unstable Field. It will often give you a lot of this for login rewards, for events, any such things, and there are some times where tag events will only cost you one Unstable Field to tag a character. This can be helpful because tagging can be expensive. And oftentimes when you get new equipment, for example, I recently got this new disto, I had to re-tag all my equipment so that I could put this disto on my secondary character. The Marnie's unstable fuel source can be bought from any old moon manager. For example, this one right here in Grana. It will cost you roughly 10 million per Marnie's unstable fuel, and it can cost you hundreds of fuel to re-tag a character if you have better equipment. Now, the more equipment you have, the more fuel it will require to tag it. This includes things like a pen black star it will cost more than a tet black star. So, now that we have the fuel, let's go ahead and copy over the items. We're not going to copy over these artifacts because once you copy over an item, you cannot take it off of the character that you have it copied over to. So we'll take those off real quick. We'll also take off the processing stone and instead put it on the Monos writing prop because it will tag that item as well. Let's go to the item copy, and now we can copy all the items over. Now if we swap all the way on over to my Megu, and we open up the inventory, you will see all the items that I had copied over is now in my inventory. Are now in my inventory. Gotta, gotta be grammatically correct. And now, as I said, you cannot tag a Shy Awakening. It's sad. You also cannot tag a normal Awakening to Shy. You have to make one entirely separately, which I find to be quite annoying, especially as a Shy main. Now, let's talk about some of the downsides when it comes to tagging, and some of the upsides. First of all, when you tag a character, they are always going to be in the same place. That means that if I was right here when I tagged, and now I move all the way 
over here. I know, such a far distance. And I switch back on over to my shy. She will now be in the same place that I was at. Watch my make. Another sad part, though, on the other hand, is that they do not share a horse. I Meaning you'll you will have to have two horses, or if you just want a horse on one of them, then that'd be nice too. One thing that I would recommend, though, is for example, let's say you have buffs on a character. If I went and I grabbed church buffs from Melandora right over here, Marandora. I don't want those buffs to run out by the time I get to the grind zone, so I can switch on over to my tag character, and I can run to the grind zone, and the buffs will not be reduced during that time I've been running, because the buffs are character bound. So that's one constant use of how to pop buffs before grinding, and how to save your buffs. Now finally, the next thing, the last thing about tagging, is if you do tag, you cannot barter, and you cannot trade on the said characters that you have tagged. Why they have this as a system, I still cannot figure it out, but it's there and it is annoying. But anyway, that will be all for this video. If y'all liked it, please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a comment. Again, anything you're gonna do, and join the Discord, check out my Twitch. I will see y'all later, everybody.